Hi everyone, I'm Marilyn. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to um, just go over an old canvas that you don't want anymore so that you can reuse it and paint over it. <clears throat> this one is relatively smooth, but some a lot of your older canvases may have bumps or a little bit of texture. And even if it is smooth, I advise to give it a sanding to rough up the uh, surface a bit. So with it paint the uh, gesso easier. Just uh, sand as much as you think you need. And then once it's sanded, wipe it off. Wipe off your surface to get rid of any dust. And then we're ready for our first coat of gesso. Um, the gesso I have is in this big tub. You can get it in smaller like squeeze bottles or even bigger tubs. Bigger is more economical. And try and get um, gesso that's a little bit thick. It's, you know, people buy it at the dollar store or stuff and it's really runny. It won't cover as well. It'll be frustrating to use. This one is, I don't know if you can see that on there, but it's thick enough so that it doesn't like run right off the brush, right? So you start by coating your canvas. I like to start by um, going in one direction. So I'm going to go across my canvas. And if your gesso is really thick, too thick for you, you certainly can water it down a little bit. Uh, do the sides too if you think they need them. And I try to use as big a brush as I can. Uh, because it goes on faster. You have less brush strokes to worry about to, that you might want to sand off later. And um, you can even add a little bit of um, acrylic paint to this if you want to tint it a little bit, depending on what you're going to use it for after. <clears throat> so completely coat it one way. Try and smooth out the brush strokes as you go along. And that way you'll have less sanding to do after. And uh, you can also buy uh, gesso in, well, I have some black hair if you were going to use it afterwards for a darker uh, painting. A little bit of a bump there. There. Now, so... Let this dry. It usually takes, it dries pretty fast. It usually takes about a half an hour. I like to leave it for a complete hour before I um, turn it around and go the other way. And so we'll let this dry and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to do the next coat. Okay. This seems dry. The best way to tell if it's dry, well, of course, obviously, if you don't get paint when you touch it, but if it's still cold to the touch, it's probably not completely dry. But this is dry enough now for us to do our second coat of gesso. <clears throat> so when I do a second coat, I like to go in the opposite direction from um, how I did the first coat. So, so since we went this way with the first coat, we're going to go this way with the second. And sometimes, it, you know, if you're painting underneath was really light, you might not need the second coat. But this one, I can still see a fair bit of the uh, original painting. So I'm going to give it the second coat. <clears throat> and this is not going on perfectly good. So I'm going to give my brush a tiny little bit of water on the tip. And then just... Off we go. So try not to rub it in, um, just kind of spread it. <laughs> some people even use a uh, pellet knife if they want to have some extra texture, which you can do with gesso, build up in certain areas or um, leave a grainy texture or even, uh, you know, use other things like bubble wrap or household things to make uh, impressions in the in the gesso while it's still wet so you can have a, 
kind of different effects with your paint. I should mention too, I forgot to mention in the beginning that this is acrylic gesso. So if you have an oil paint, uh, oil painting, um, don't, don't use acrylic gesso over it. Uh, acrylic gesso is water-based and oil and water don't mix. The gesso will not stick to it. Uh, and uh, if you attempt to paint over that, it'll peel off. So if you're using, if you have an oil painting that you want to cover, you need to get uh, gesso or something that's specifically designed for oil paint. This is an acrylic painting that's uh, so it's perfectly fine to use the uh, acrylic gesso over it. So now we just leave that and let it dry. And I use, uh, since it's going to be the last coat and I am going to sand it, I'm going to leave it an extra couple of hours to make absolutely sure it's dry. So we'll come back when it's dry and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, we're back and this is totally dry. Um, so one last step. <clears throat> take your little bit of sandpaper. I have a little sheet of sandpaper here, but you can use a sanding block and just sand your uh, canvas smooth so you're getting a nice smooth feel when you rub your hand over it. However, if you would prefer to have uh, a bit more um, texture, you, you don't have to sand. I like a nice smooth canvas because a smooth canvas is easier to blend out. So you just sand it to your own preference. Once you have it sanded, take a, another cloth, uh, wipe the dust off. You will get a lot of dust. <laughs> and there, you're ready to paint, embellish, do whatever you want with, the, uh, with your new canvas. I hope you enjoyed this um, video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.